guys at home, this is Bujin Khan Bob. He doesn't mind getting hit. He doesn't ever complain. Got a little bit of blood on his nose from somebody's knuckles from last night's session, I think. So he's a good guy. You can uh, have fun with Bob. So what I'm going to do is show you a striking drill. Um, sometimes I'll take my hanbo out into the forest or the woods or the beach. I, do, I like to train with weapons outside a lot because inside the dojo is really cool, but it's a padded, sterile environment. You don't have changes in your foot work you're not wearing civilian clothes uh what are you really going to probably end up fighting is real shoes boots and the other stuff your jeans are going to be on or your shorts whatever and so you got to learn how to move in your natural clothing and um, you should have your uh, weapons bag with you in your car at all times so you can never miss a training opportunity so let's look at a training drill that you could take outside and start to think of using if you had five, 10 minutes or something like that a day to do something with. So having um, Bujinkan Bob here makes it really cool because you can kind of look at his arms as targets, his face as a target, with trying to do the different types of striking that we showed earlier. And now you can start to really get um, the force of an impact and feel like, what does it feel like when I hit something? Uh, how does it absorb it? How does it bounce off? Trees, trees act differently than Bob does. Bob has mushy um, texture to him, so he's even a little bit lighter than what bones in a face would be like as well. Um, so you got to think what you're hitting and then try and do different types of movement with it. So try the striking drills we did from earlier. If we're in Munen Muso, I want to do my side strikes. I want to try them at all the different levels. And then I want to see if I can target just the wrist area, just his nose, just his ear, just his throat. And you're going to try hitting him at different angles and then try with stepping forward only. One, two, rising strike over the top. Now I'm going to fall away like I'm retreating. So I'm up close. We've had some thing. And I start to fall away with all of these different types of strikes as well. Retreating, hitting from the back, hitting out and tapping an arm. Now we go to Katiyaburi. I'm striking in, coming forward. Maybe spinning around the person. You're not always just in front of them. You can hit in different ways from different angles. Also, ski. Hitting in with different ways of poking. Or hitting multiple strikes. Maintaining using your breath work, your stances, and not overextending yourself. 